welcome to another episode of Book Talk, where we talk to the authors of famous children's books. Today we have Jennifer L. Holm here to discuss three of her books, Our Only May Amelia, Pennies from Heaven, and Turtle in Paradise. Let's give her a warm welcome. Good morning. Glad you could come, Jennifer. Well, thank you for having me. Shall we get started? Certainly. What inspired you to write your books? Well, most of my books, except for my baby mouse books, are based off of my family. For instance, Our Only May Amelia was based off my great aunt's journal that I got for my birthday. How old were you when you started writing? My first book was published in 1999, but I started to write shortly after I graduated college. What context clues did you put in, your, in Turtle in Paradise to make the reader start to wonder if Slowpoke was Turtle's dad? Slowpoke always asks questions about Turtle's mom. He calls her honey, and he seems really curious about Turtle's mother. What opinions did Penny's dad's family have that her mother's family didn't have in your book, Penny's from Heaven? Well, the story takes place in a time in American history long ago when being Italian meant that you were the enemy. After Penny's, father's died, after Penny's father died, her mom's family and her dad's family began to disagree and argue with each other. What was your purpose of writing Our Only May Amelia? My purpose was to tell an entertaining story about a 12-year-old girl with an adventurous spirit and a nose for trouble. Why did you name the main character of Penny's from Heaven Penny? In the story, Penny's real name wasn't Penny, it was Barbara, but when her father died, his favorite song was Penny's from Heaven by Ben Crosby, so they called her Penny. In Turtle in Paradise, how much do you think the story would change if Turtle met Slowpoke closer to the beginning? If Turtle met Slowpoke earlier, she would have gotten to spend more time with him and eventually learn that he was her dad. I, met, I met, had her met him a little later so that the story would be interesting and entertaining. Can you summarize this, your story, Turtle in Paradise, to the audience? Turtle is a sweet tale of a young Turtle in Paradise is a sweet tale of a young girl named Turtle who's moved unexpectedly to Key West while her mother gets her life together. When did you start to love reading? When I was very young, I started to love to read everything. One of my neighbors said he, his clearest memory of me as a child was watching me rake the lawn one hand and the book in the other hand. Finally, can you compare and contrast all three main characters from our only May Amelia, Turtle in Paradise, and Penny from Heaven? All three of the characters have a nose for trouble, as I said earlier, but they each have their own goals. May, May Amelia wanted to prove that she is responsible and doesn't always have to be the perfect little girl. Penny's dad died when she was very young and she has always wondered about him. And Turtle wants to learn more about her dad since Turtle's parents were divorced and she has to learn to live in a whole new place. That's all for today, folks. It was a pleasure having you here, Jennifer. Thank you for having me.